Hey guys, Weapon Gaming here, bringing you back another video for the Weapon Conversion Series. And today we're going to cover the AKS-74U and how to convert the AK-47 into the AKS-74U. So here on screen you can see the weapon preview animation for this weapon. And in this one we're going to be using it with a monolithic suppressor. So let's go ahead and get right into it here. If I go ahead and back out, first I'll go to my class where I have the AKS-74U. And the attachments that I have on this... <laughs> Are, as I said, the muzzle, we have the monolithic suppressor to fit in with that AKS-74U design. And really we're, we're kind of forming this one after what was in Call of Duty 4 or Call of Duty Remastered. And just that classic suppressed AKS-74U look that I prefer. For the barrel, you're going to want an 8.1 inch compact barrel. And that'll give you the shortened version for the AKS-74U. Laser, we're going to skip out on that. Oh, put that back on. Laser, we don't, we're going to skip out on the laser. We don't need that one. For the reticle, we're going to use the monocle reflex sight because this is a Russian red dot sight. As you can see here in the description, Russian reflex sight with low intrusion frame from improved target tracking. So for improved target tracking, that's a Russian reflex sight. We'll use that one and then we'll switch to the stock. And we're going to use the skeleton stock to go in line with the AKS-74U design. Perks, we're going to leave that blank. Same with the rear grip and the underbarrel. Now, for the magazine, this is one's important. You're going to want the 5.45 times 39 millimeter 30 round mag, and that's what the AKS 74U chamber is, as well as the AK 74. And the AKS 74U is, is essentially a shortened version of the AKS, or I'm sorry, of the AK 74. And it's kind of an intermediary, intermediary weapon between a submachine gun and an assault rifle, is what it was designed for. So here it is. What I'm going to do is I'm going to strip this and we'll show you how to make it from scrap and then we'll get into the gameplay. We'll show some test firing and then how it performs in game. So first off, as I said, the muzzle, we're going to go with the monolithic suppressor here. Then the barrel, we're going to want that 8.1 inch compact barrel. No laser. Optic, we are going to go for that Russian reflex sight. If I can find it. Here we go. Monocle reflex sight. Stock, we're going to select a skeleton stock. No perk, no rear grip, and no underbarrel. And then ammunition, the 545 times 39 mil. So again, if you prefer this with an underbarrel, you can go ahead and throw a foregrip on there or a GP25 or anything you want. Um, it doesn't need to be consistent. You can also take off the suppressor for that classic AKS-74U design or throw on the muzzle brake or something like that. But for this video, we're going to use it with the monolithic suppressor. And there it is. Finished project. Turning the AK-47 into the AKS-74U. You can see here. Looks identical to the COD 4 or COD Remastered version. And we've seen this in many video games, this exact design. So again, with the, with the monolithic, monolithic Russian suppressor or, or without is fine. So let's go ahead and get into some gameplay and we'll test fire this. All right, so now that we're in the game, we'll go ahead and test fire this, this weapon. And I'm gonna go over to a wall here. In real life, the AKS-74 has a rate of fire of 700 to 735 rounds per minute. Automatic 100 rounds per minute is the practical as well as semi-auto 40 rounds per minute. Muzzle velocity 735 meters per second. Effective range 300 to 400 meters. So we'll go ahead and fire this without adjusting for recoil here. You can see it climbs pretty high. And then if I adjust for recoil, just hip fire. So there it is in action. And we'll go ahead and play with this a little bit and take out these bots. So that's how you turn the AK-47 AK into the AK-74U or the AKS-74U. You can turn this into the AK-74. You can turn it into the AK-12. So there's a couple of different variations you can do. You can turn it into an RPK as well. <laughs> So 
this is adjusting for recoil. Does have an interesting pattern to it. A little hard to control without a grip on it or the proper attachment. So if you really want, this might not be practical for in-game. And if you wanted this to perform better in-game, you would probably want to put different attachments on it. But you can see at medium to close range, it's very effective. And it handles really well. Switch it over to single fire here. Bots are below me here. So it's controllable at distance. That was a pretty, that was probably the max range you would want to engage with this thing at full auto. So here's the AKS 74U without a barrel attachment on it. So we took the suppressor off. Not adjust in for recoil. See it climbs straight up. Now if we adjust for recoil. So it might even be a little easier to control without the suppressor. But again, not really a practical in-game design depending on how you want it to perform. But it works. You can definitely make this work. So this is the AKS 74U from COD 4 or COD Remastered. And this is how you build it out of the AK-47. So this is one of the conversion kits you can do with this weapon. And again, there's numerous ones to make. So if you guys have any ideas for other weapons you want to see, I'm going to be doing this as a series. So we're going to have the, the AAC Honey Badger as well as some other weapons coming up next. So if you guys like the video, be sure to drop a like and a sub. Get that guy. And be sure to check out the rest of the series. I'm pretty sure this guy here. There we go. Personal radar, ready for deployment. Also be sure to check out my Twitch page in the description below. I'll be usually be streaming there on the weekends and maybe some weeknights here and there. I'll put out a definitive schedule going forward. If you guys enjoy the video and the content, please sure, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And until next time, Buffner Gaming out.